So we're backstage at the Naughty Reunion 2013 and I'm with Mobo Award winner for you. I like that. Do you like that? I like Are you used to it yet? I'm not, you know, I'm actually not. When you said it, it just reminded me, like, I'm actually not used to it, but yo, it's a blessing, man. Mobo Award winner. That's me. Hey. <laughs> it's been a crazy year for you. It's been a crazy year, man. It's been an amazing year, man. Like, just connecting with the world with my music and being top 10 in the UK as well with antennas crazy do you know what I'm saying and winning the mobile yo man has it surprised you like because obviously you work for so many years building yeah, and building yeah. and building yeah. and then something just clicks and things roll very quickly yeah. it's crazy like because yeah like you just never know what's gonna actually click with the people that's the other thing about music um, but yeah man, it clicked and then all of a sudden like, whoa, okay cool, like everyone's listening to you now, do you know what I'm saying, you got to keep it flowing, so I did a zone tour and an antenna, do you know what I'm saying, and now, you know, the new single's out, Better Than Bad, Million Pound Girl, and that's doing well as well, so it's crazy. Where, what, where did Azonto come from? Where, how, where, where was it born? Azonto was born in Ghana, and I'm just growing it up, you know, outside of Ghana and outside of Africa, and just letting everyone know about Azonto, because it's so much fun. It's such an addictive dance that I had to let the whole world know, you know. Does they, Africa know what you've done for Azonto around the world? Yeah, nah, nah, they know. Like, if you mention Azonto, like, if you go to so many countries in Africa, you mention Azonto, they, they will tell you, Fuse ODG, like, that's the first name that comes into their head, which is good. You know, I'm happy that they're recognising what I'm doing out there, you know, because they know. Um, was that important for you to, to was, bring a bit of Africa to the rest of the world? It's so important, even that's what my hat says, T-I-N-A, Tina, this is new Africa. It's so important for me to just, like, not just, you know, because not just bring African music to the world, but actually let the world know that Africa is not just about the negative and the, the poverty and stuff like that, it's about happiness. There's a lot of joy that comes out of vibes. Africa I'm as well. I'm telling you man, every time I go to Africa, I'm just happy everywhere I go, everyone's embracing you and I want the world to see that side of Africa, you know, and that comes out through my music, you know, my music is so embracing, you know, people play at weddings and stuff like that, it brings people together and that's what Africa is about and definitely man, it's really important that I let people know that side of Africa, you know, through my music. I love that. <laughs> I love that. So I want to know how grounded you are since you've had all this yeah. success. So. When was the last time you hoovered? <laughs> you know, even before the, before everything, I wasn't hoovering that much anyway. <laughs> but actually, I, I swept the studio. You swept like, the floor. Yeah, exactly. So I actually, I, I do still have, I haven't got a hoover in the studio. Okay. You know, because it's not a big, big studio, so. But you're a trusty so, broom. Exactly, that's it. So I'm still sweeping the studio because I have to make sure that it's nicely maintained when people come through. Absolutely. When was the last time you washed your own clothes? Um, I must have, I think we was in Tanzania or one of the African countries and I didn't take enough boxes shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I was like, yo, if I'm going to last this trip, I'm going to have to wash some boxes Was it in a little sink kind of situation? Yeah, like yeah. in the sink, you know, the next morning, dry. <laughs> Yeah, That's the one thing when you're in a hot country, you can rinse through your underwear and it's dry in an hour. So, so I've done it, man. I had to, I had to do it. Do you know what I'm saying? Cause I didn't want to go commando. You know? <laughs> Tanzania wasn't ready for that, man. Nah, they're not ready for that. <laughs> they're not ready for that. <laughs> and and what's the what's the one thing that you've treated yourself to since since a little bit of money started coming through? Yeah, I spent a lot of money <laughs> after the mobiles. <laughs> Was there a big bill to pay? Yo, like, I don't know how I'm gonna account for it, man. I know at some point I have to let people, I have to let my account to know, man. Call Why? it corporate entertainment. I'm you were whining you. and dining label executives. I'm, I'm telling them to just put it under mobile celebration. Yeah. You know, call it drones, Fuse ODG, mobile celebration. Please don't question me anymore. Yeah. You know. Hear that, Mr. Taxman? Yeah, man, please don't question me, man. But yeah, man, just spending money after the boat. <laughs> so what's next? What's next for Fuse? Um, so I just released my, my latest single called Million Pound Girl, Badder Than Bad. Search on YouTube, Fuse ODG, Million Pound Girl. We're releasing that by December. The album is coming out soon as well, in April. Um, oh, wow. So you're going to get two more singles, Million Pound Girl and another single. 
you guys stay tuned for that. It's a big surprise on that one. And then the album will drop in April. So I'm so I'm really, really excited about letting people hear the different sides to me, you know. So definitely. Perfect. Well thank you, views. Thank it's you. time we go and have a little drink, I think. Let's go listen. Let's, hold on. We ready. I've got one somewhere. See I'm ready, you're not hold ready. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm here. Cheers. Congratulations. Yeah.